basement of a rundown pub somewhere in the northwest of England. Crates of beer and beer barrels are stacked around the basement. A plate of sandwiches rests on a barrel. Robert sets up an expensive camera on a stand. Clive enters and limps towards Robert. You nearly done setting up? Almost. Stand over there for me, Clive. Here, yeah, a little to the a little to the right. A bit more. A bit more. That's it. Perfect. She's still on the jump. I presume so. Taking her time, ain't she? But she's got to fashion up all that leather gear she was wearing. That or snorting Charlie up her nose. She said she was going to put on more makeup. More makeup? <laughs> Tell you, these girls and their makeup. Plastering it on like it's some kind of miracle to make them look pretty. They don't even put it on right. I didn't realise, Clive, you were an expert in makeup application. You don't need to be. You can see the orange lines framing their ugly faces. Little hoes that they are. I'm sure they think fondly of you too. <laughs> you can move away from that spot now. Clive pulls out two bottles of beer from a crate. He offers one to Robert, who refuses with a shake of his head. Clive places the bottle top against the crate, and with a smack of his hand, he hits the top and it flies off. What's wrong with the Asanis? The bread was stale. Stale? What are you talking about? They were freshly made. When? Yesterday. Well, they are now stale. Do you want a packet already salted instead, then? Oh, no, you better not. They might, be, might not be salty enough for you. Probably too many days out of date. I'm actually more of a prawn cocktail man. Says a lot. Clive, I didn't mean to offend you. That's OK. Just pissed off about my business, that's all. This place ain't the same anymore. Used to get more folk coming in, decent folk. My old man rested solid. Have another coronary if you saw the riffraff this place attracts nowadays. I'm sure things will start to pick up soon. Not with those little hoes packing their deceased selves outside. I won't vermin they are. Vermin that attracts more vermin. Rats would probably give me better customers. How long will this last, do you think? Same as last time. You're definitely going to do it to her afterwards. Yes. I don't know how you can even touch her. Don't leave so much mess this time, though, will you? Not that like last bloody time. I don't want to be cleaning up all her mess. There won't be any mess. Tracy enters, dressed in a leather miniskirt and top. Her face is heavily made up. Ah, Tracy. What have you been doing up there all this time? You really want to know? Why are you limping? You really want to know? Actually, yeah, I do. Shot in foot. Wow, really? I've never known anyone who's been shot before. Why be you shot? <laughs> what are you laughing at? I'm going to leave Robert to shoot you now. You what? Take your picture. Clive exits and locks the door. Has he just locked us in? Yes, so the barmaid doesn't come down and disturb us. Oh, OK. I don't remember seeing a barmaid, though. If you're uncomfortable, I, I can ask him to come down and unlock. I'm not. You seem a decent bloke. He's weird, though. He takes some getting used to. I doubt I'd ever get used to him. <laughs> Me neither. So, where do you want me then? Over by that barrel, please. This one? Yes. Now, just rest with your back against it, please. Like this? Perfect. Now, tilt your head to the left slightly and hold the edge of the barrel with your right hand. What are you doing? Sorry. I'm a bit shit with me left and me right, so I pretend to write because I'm right-handed. Then I know which is which. Oh, I see. Silly, ain't it? Girl my age should know the difference by now, right? Well, whatever works for you. It has done so far. 
Okay, back to it. So place your right hand on the edge of the barrel behind you, please. That's lovely. Now look into the camera. How do you want me to pose? I've got a few poses I can show you. What about this one? Or what about pouting? My customers say I've got a sexy pout. I think I look like a duck, but hey, it seems to do it for them. Customers always right, they always say. Let's just try for a smile for now. She smiles and a flash goes off as Robert takes a picture. Lovely. I've never done any modeling before. Well, apart from the ones for the escort site, but they don't count because I took them myself. You're a natural. Really? That's weird, because as a kid, I hated having my pic taken. Used to run off whenever my dad got his camera out. I'm sure your dad was very disappointed he didn't get to capture precious moments with you. I doubt it. His precious moments were spent with others, not me. You will regret that one day. <clears throat> Have a hard job. He's dead. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Don't be. I'm not. OK, so now I want you to turn to your right and place your right hand on your hip. What's all this for, anyway? More to the right. That's it. It's for an exhibition. Oh, what sort? Robert clicks away as Tracy tries numerous poses. Beauty surrounded by ugliness. Beauty surrounded by ugliness. I like the sound of that. Is that why we're in this disgusting basement? Correct. I thought you were going to take me to your studio when you said you wanted to take me picture. This is my studio for this particular shoot. Oh, your weird mate upstairs giving it to you for a good price then? Clive, we're not friends. Let's just say that we have a special deal. Special, eh? I give my customers special deals sometimes. Don't let Simon know, though. Simon? Is he your boyfriend? <laughs> God, no. He runs the agency. He's OK, I guess. One of my mates, she's got a pimp. Proper wanker. And what makes him a proper wanker? He doesn't care about his girls. A couple have gone, um, gone missing. Just disappeared. Oh, really? Yeah. He couldn't give a shit. Just replaced them within a day. So, is this one of your special deals then? Yeah, I guess it is. Well, I'm very grateful, Tracy. You can sit down whilst I load another film. Why don't you use digital? I enjoy processing the pictures. Oh, can I have a bite? I'm starving. Help yourself though, I must warn you, they're stale. I'll just pick the meat off then, hands me fave. It probably hasn't seen the inside of a fridge in quite some time. Tastes fine. Swallowed a lot worse. <laughs> so, uh, will I get to see me pick when it's done? I'd love to see it hanging in some posh gallery. Have you ever been to a gallery, Tracy? Me? Nah. I'd love to go to one, though. Get all dressed up and drink Prosecco at the opening. that would be mint. I watched a programme about an art thingy once. It was called something like The End of the Road, I think. Does yours have a name? No, I have a theme. What kind of theme? <laughs> what? You ask a lot of questions, Tracy. I'm just interested. It's, oh, what's the word? Intriguing. That'll do. So come on then, what's the theme? Blame. I don't get it. You will. OK, let's get back to work. I want you to turn round and stare at the wall. He sets the timer on the camera. He walks towards Tracy. You're very photogenic, Tracy. Ah. You remind me of someone I love very much. Her name was Annabelle. Belle, I called her. Tracy attempts to turn back around, but Robert stops her. No, stay facing that way. He moves his hand up her leg and under her skirt. This will cost you more, you know. Good girl. This girl I knew, Belle. 
She ran away one day. I searched everywhere for her. A year later, I found her. Not far from here, actually. She looked even more like you, all dressed up, her natural looks ruined. I watched her each night, trying to pluck up the courage to approach her. This one night, I decided I was going to go over to her and beg her to come home. Then another car pulled up near to her. One of the other girls spoke to the driver, then backed away in disgust. She pushed Belle towards the car and let her get in instead. I watched that car drive off with her. I never saw her again. Neither did anyone else. I know who you're talking about. That other whore knew the driver of that car, knew he was dangerous, but she still let my Belle get in his car and drive off with him. She went missing last week, that other girl you're on about. They're the girls I mentioned earlier. I know. You know what happened to that other girl, don't you? Yes. What's this got to do with me? Blame. I had nothing to do with either of them. They were street girls. I'm an escort. I know. So why am I here? You're somebody else's choice to blame. I'd like to leave now, please. I thought you wanted your picture hanging on a wall. I said I wanted to see it hanging on a wall. You're a lot brighter than I originally thought, Tracy. Please let me go. Oh, I can't. She spins around and spits in his face. He grabs her neck. She begins to fight back, but buckles at the knees. The camera starts flashing as it continuously captures the action. Robert pulls her up, but she knees him in the groin. He falls back in agony. She makes a bolt for the door, but trips over a crate of beer. She manages to get back on her feet, just as Clive barges in with a gun. You little whore. He shoots. Her body falls against a barrel as the camera continues taking pictures. What the fuck did you do that for? I wanted to go at shooting her. The camera takes its last flash. Blackout.